do you think AI is going to replace pharmacists? Don't you have like a secret plan to take over, you know, the human race and all that and, you know, take our jobs? If you actually were going to try to replace pharmacists, what would you do? Have you seen these headlines? AI passes medical board exam. ChatGPT takes over healthcare. Robots coming for medical jobs. Let me tell you, these headlines are missing something huge. And after working with hundreds of pharmacists and seeing how healthcare is actually evolving, I've got some insights that may surprise you. And if you stick around, you'll watch me actually have a conversation with ChatGPT about what it thinks about replacing medical professionals and pharmacists. So let's chat about it. Will AI replace pharmacists? You know, it's interesting. I've had a lot of conversations recently about AI and how exciting it is, but also the threat of whether or not it'll take a job away from a pharmacist. They may not specifically say it, but I think their worries are founded in the fear of losing out, right? And I think innovation is very powerful. It should replace the jobs of the past. After all, we don't have a whole lot of blacksmiths anymore. And some people love that kind of thing. That's great for them. But personally, I'm glad I don't, I don't want to ride a horse. I just don't. Okay. They're, they're large. They're scary. They could kill you. But when it comes to ChatGPT, I don't have that kind of fear. I do think it's going to replace a lot of things. When you see ChatGPT passing things like the medical board exam, it can seem pretty scary. Even pharmacy executives are looking at the power of AI and trying to figure out where can they implement it and preserve not just healthcare and the costs of it, but also trying to figure out what makes pharmacists essential to be doing in our healthcare system. Definitively, I feel very confident in saying AI isn't going to replace pharmacists. Barring some world ending apocalypse in which AI takes us over, which I don't think that'll happen. Let me tell you why I think that and I'm going to break down what AI can do right now and more importantly, what it can't do because there's a lot. So first up, what can AI do in pharmacy? Well, it is very impressive. We are at the precipice of a new revolution. AI is just getting started and it's still overall a little bit underwhelming with what things like ChatGPT are capable of. But at a very basic level, I think AI is capable of handling data driven tasks. Now it's not a hundred percent foolproof as it often makes mistakes, but think about just all of the administrative headaches that we deal with in pharmacy, prior authorizations, insurance claims, inventory management, AI, I believe can streamline so much of this. It can, it can be great potentially at like flagging drug, drug interactions. I think it can even optimize lots of public health data and look at large scale models from medical interventions on patients. There are studies being done and have already been published that look at AI applications in these areas. But let me give you a real world example. AI can actually predict when medications might go short and analyze the drug chain supply. I know this is something that I feel like in pharmacy, we're more like victims of it. Like, yes, we're involved with it, but there's very little, I think, power. It seems like our profession has over the drug chain supply, even though like we're the ones distributing this thing. I think AI can also help with identifying high risk patients before they develop problems. Right now, they're using AI to predict diseases in imaging. It is amazing to see this. And I think it can happen in pharmacy where we see AI potentially catching medication, things like non-adherence, things that pharmacists don't have the time really to assess. It'd be great if they did, but that's powerful stuff. I remember learning in pharmacy school that like, it was something like half of the patients that take medications don't actually take it the way they're supposed to. The biggest lever that would make the biggest impact, I think for outcomes. Imagine if we got that 50 up to, you know, 80, 90%. It's amazing probably what could happen to the health of our nation. I think AI can also focus on the shift of our nation towards convenience. 
Healthcare has changed rapidly to be much more convenient and really more customer centric than patient. Just consider how vaccines have changed. 20 years ago, most vaccines were given in primary care clinics. Now, over 75% of people get their immunizations at pharmacies. It's a huge shift. It's a convenient shift. You don't need appointments. I mean, some now, now you do. And it's not just vaccines. We're seeing more and more healthcare services moving to things within the pharmacy and clinical interventions and reimbursements. This is why pharmacists can't be replaced. I mean, just by law, we are required to do so many things for patients. We're not pill counters, okay? <laughs> That's a misconception, and I feel like everyone still thinks it. The role of pharmacists is evolving into more mid-level practitioner provider status, and we're becoming more frontline HPCs, especially in rural and underserved areas where access to care is very limited. So now let's talk about what AI cannot do. And this is crucial. AI can't provide empathy, or I would say really transformation. It can't build trust with patients, at least not yet. Think about when you're counseling someone who's been diagnosed with cancer or helping a parent understand their child's new asthma medication. It requires a human connection, understanding, clinical judgment that an AI at this point just can't replicate. There are some interesting studies out there that look at recommendations from AI versus text-based pharmacists, and the AI actually gets rated a little bit higher in empathy and understanding. It's coffee time. As much as we may say that AI is going to take over the human race, the gap between AI empathy and a human face and feeling like it's someone is just it, it it it's a huge gap that i feel like a very small minority of people will fall into and believe it right we we've already seen ai girlfriends and boyfriends pop up as services so it's not a stretch but here's another example of what ai cannot do Okay, imagine an elderly patient who's struggling with multiple chronic conditions, can't afford their, all their medications. AI may be able to identify cheaper alternatives, but it can't have a crucial conversation about prioritizing meds, understanding the patient's specific challenges, and working with them to find a realistic solution. You know what else? AI can't handle the ethical and legal complexities of pharmacy practice. I mean, yeah, it can answer a law question, A, B, C, D, here are your choices, what are you gonna do? But imagine AI trying to decide whether to fill an early controlled substance prescription or navigate a clinical situation where the right answer isn't clear. Think about balancing patient needs with regulatory requirements or making judgment calls about complex drug-drug interactions and figuring out what do we sacrifice? What do we do? These situations require professional judgment, experience, human insights. And ultimately, by law, unless some new policy is developed and a new perspective from public perception, it is unlikely that policies and procedures would be put in place that replace the pharmacist. Because legally, that is not allowed. Now we may see a change in public perception. I mean, we're seeing it now with like driving cars. It is getting more and more accepted by people that this is safer than a human driving a car. But here's what I think is really exciting. AI isn't our replacement. It's a tool. It's going to handle all of the time consuming tasks that keep us from doing what we're trained to do. Taking care of patients, soft skills, it's going to be helping us be better pharmacists by giving us more time for clinical services, patient advocacy, and direct patient care. Just think about it. AI can handle the routine tasks. So we, we can focus on developing new clinical services, building stronger relationships with our patients so that they take our recommendations, collaborating with other healthcare practitioners, making complex clinical decisions, providing the kind of personalized care that every human wants and deserve. Let's see what ChatGPT thinks about replacing pharmacists. ChatGPT, how are you today? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? 
Yeah, I'm good. Um, I was actually wondering what you thought about this. Do you think AI is going to replace pharmacists? It's great to hear you're doing well. AI can definitely assist pharmacists by handling routine tasks, providing drug interaction checks, and managing inventory, but it's unlikely to fully replace them. Pharmacists play a crucial role in patient care, offering personalized advice and ensuring safe medication use, which is something AI can't fully replicate. It's more about collaboration than replacement. Yeah, but I mean, don't you have like a secret plan to take over, you know, the human race and all that? and? you know, take our jobs? No secret plans here. AI is just a tool designed to help and support people. The goal is to make life easier and more efficient, not to take over. If you ever have any questions or concerns, I'm here to chat about them. But what if I don't believe you? That's totally okay. It's natural to have questions or doubts. If there's anything specific you'd like to know or discuss, feel free to ask. I'm here to help and provide information. Okay, but if you actually were going to try to replace pharmacists, what would you do? If AI were ever to take on more responsibilities, it would focus on tasks like data analysis, inventory management, and medication dispensing. However, the human touch and expertise that pharmacists provide, especially in patient care and counseling, are irreplaceable. It's all about collaboration, not replacement. You're very well programmed, ChatGPT. I'm watching you. I appreciate that. If you have any more questions or just want to chat, I'm here for you. So what's our response as pharmacists? Well, first, I think don't fear it. Let's try to embrace it. Let's learn how to use these tools. Let's not be waiting 20 years before we innovate on something that, frankly, we're still having to write progress notes. That pisses me off to no end. Focus on developing your soft skills and relying on AI so that you can be more effective with your clinical judgment, with your communication skills, and ability to build relationships with patients and healthcare providers. Remember, we're the most accessible healthcare providers out there in the community. Patients see us way more often than doctors. That human connection, that trust we build is irreplaceable. And right now, <laughs> trust in the healthcare system is at an all time low. AI can help us be more efficient, but it can never replace the value of what we do as pharmacists and healthcare providers. You know, speaking of being irreplaceable, I actually created something that I think will help you make a huge move in your career right now. It's called the Pharmacy Job Application Tracker. Our clients use it and love it because it makes applying to jobs and organizing your notes so much easier. If you want to get access to it, we'll put a link below in the description. You click it, add your email, and we will send that right to you. The future of pharmacy isn't about being replaced by AI. It's about using AI to become better healthcare providers. And honestly, I'm excited for that future. What do you think about AI? Drop your thoughts below. We read all of your comments and try to respond to them. If you liked this video, hit the like button because th that means you liked it. That's, that's good feedback. But if you didn't like it, hit dislike and let us know what we could cover differently. Maybe you hate the stance of thinking AI is good. You know, maybe you're a doomsday prepper. Um, I can relate. I, I was afraid at one point too. <laughs> I've got like a year's supply of food downstairs. So it is what it is. So until I see you in the next video, stay curious and take care. <laughs>